I should turn my ceiling fan off. Can you hear that? Probably. Hello, people. It's been, I don't even know how long since I did a vlog. Um, I think the last one I made was in DC, which was in May. Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> Just got busy at the end of my trip and wasn't sure if I wanted to vlog, so I didn't vlog. So, hi. Um, I'm back home in Texas in my room. There's my old filming corner, if you remember way back. Now you see where it is in my room. <laughs> yeah, I got my hair chopped off. You might have seen that if you follow me on Instagram. Um, I've had it this way for about a month. And look, at it's like so short and... It's so nice because Texas is like horrifically hot right now, so not having hair on my neck is really, really great. And I love this long bit right here. I really like it, so thank you Rianne and Sharon, my, my hair cutting friends who have helped this mop stay in shape. <laughs> I don't really have a point to this video, I just decided I feel like filming and I'm going to turn on my camera and just chat. So yes, there's my cello, I don't know if you remember my cello. I did get it out when I got home and I played it for a little bit, but I'm not sure if I'll get back into that. I'm really sad though, because I left my ukulele in Wisconsin. <laughs> I had one suitcase that I checked on the plane and then I had a carry-on and a personal item and I could either take the ukulele or I could take a backpack full of my stuff and I thought I should probably be practical and take the backpack, <sighs> but I miss my ukulele. <laughs> What else can I talk about? Oh, look at this cool, hold on, camera, look over there. You see that cool pillow over there? The corgi one, my mom got that for me. And then let me bring them over. So I have these two little guys that were on top of the pillow. So this one I got from my mom for my birthday. This is uh, Nora. And this one, um, my friend Allie gave to me. This is Louie. Look at his little bow tie. <laughs> He's so cute. They can sit right there while I chat. Also, there's this cool, thing over here, I don't know if you can see it, that glass thing. Go grab that. I don't know, it probably does have a highly technical name. It's a thermometer for all intent and purpose. So these things, I don't know if you can see, they have numbers on them um, for different temperatures. So as the temperature changes, there's chemicals in the colored liquid. One that's closest to the current temperature will rise to the top. So this one right here is 80 degrees. So that's probably roughly what it is in here. My friend Trina got that for me. Thank you, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs while I was traveling. I had a lot of fun making them. It was super awkward though because I'm so used to vlogging just by myself that whenever I was with my grandparents or my dad, it was like, I can't vlog in front of you. That looks weird. And so like I was taking like sneaky clips when they weren't looking or whatever. But I think they turned out really fun. I had a blast doing it and now I have these cool memories to look back at. What I'm hoping to do eventually, I've started working on it, but I have so much footage from this trip. I've started putting a bunch together that I'm gonna make a little montage for the channel. But three months of footage is a lot to get through. Like I think right now, the uh, length of the movie or the video or whatever is like two hours. I'm not gonna make you sit through two hours, I promise. I just gotta shave it down to the important bits. <laughs> Working on that, I found some cool music for it. So that'll come out at some point. Um, <laughs> just be patient, I'm sorry. Um, I guess I should say some stuff about my trip. It went so fast, so, but I had a lot of fun. So all together, I was in Wisconsin. I went to Minnesota for a weekend. I went to California. I went to Washington DC and then I also went to South Haven, Michigan. So I did a little bit of globe trotting, saw lots of family, made some new friends. I don't know if you guys remember, I made a new friend in California. I met her online and we met up in real life and it was really fun. I'm really thankful to everybody that made that possible to travel and stay with them and feed me and entertain me because I'm so much trouble. <laughs> I guess if I were to pick a favorite part, I would have to say California was a pretty big highlight for me just because I had a lot of happy memories there of traveling with my cousins to visit my grandparents every year when I was younger. Also, it may or may not have to do with the fact that that's where Disneyland is. Disneyland is one of my favorite places in the world. I think I've mentioned that before, but I love being there. It's just 
really, really happy place for me. Like when we went back, when we got onto the property and walked, got off the tram that takes you from the parking lot to the gate, I started crying. I was like, oh, it's so happy to be back. Yeah, maybe that was a little over dramatic. I was just really happy to be back. <laughs> and I loved seeing my grandparents. I hadn't visited their house since I was like 14. So that was fun to see them again and be at their house. Cause I see them a lot, but I hadn't been where they live in a long time. And just California is gorgeous. The sun and flowers and the beaches and everything. It's just really pretty and I love it out there. However, not gonna discount DC. DC was great too. I loved all the memorials and the museums. I loved riding the Metro. I actually had a lot of fun with that. Um, the first day I was like terrified out of my mind because I was like, so many strangers in a hole in the ground. And it was like, oh, this is kind of cool. So I really enjoyed the Metro and like learning how to navigate around. It's really easy to get around. Let me show you actually. I still have the app on my phone. Um, there's an app that shows you a map of the Metro. Give me a sec. Um, nope, that's, no. When I was in DC, they had a map and it had different color trains for north, south, east, west, whatever. Um, so it made it really easy to navigate and I became the Metro master by the end of my trip there. Also, it's very walkable in DC and I liked that. I kind of like the aspect of just walking out of my dad's apartment and just being able to go, doo -doo -doo. oh look, coffee. And then Wisconsin, of course, um, is where I grew up. So that was really cool as well. I got to stay with my aunt and uncle and my cousins who I don't get to see super often. So I got to know them a little better. Um, that was really fun. You guys saw a lot of Evan and Tyler. So I lived with them despite all the pranks and air horns. <laughs> what else did we do? We did um, Six Flags. There's a Six Flags in Illinois that we drove down to. Um, we used to go all the time because it's only an hour away from where we lived. So in Michigan, of course, is the family reunion. The resort we usually use was all booked out this year, so we got a big house like eight bedrooms and we were all squished together so it was like okay hey how you doing neighbor oh i feel so close to you <laughs> but it, had, it was a good time it was a really beautiful house and it was right by the beach this is 14 minutes of footage i'm talking way too much the point of this video was mostly just to say hello and confirm that i'm still alive drink some coffee in front of the camera i don't know if i'm gonna do vlogs anymore i'm not sure I like to keep making videos, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do vlogs. I might do this kind of thing more because I'm more comfortable in front of a camera now. Before, when I first started my channel, I had that big DSLR and I would sit it in the corner over here and like try to come up with something to talk about and it was awful. I was so awkward and uncomfortable. But now that I've been vlogging, I can talk to the camera and it's not awkward really. So I'll try and make some videos like this. If you've got ideas, leave them in the comments below. I have one idea that I will leave secret. It was good to see you. See you? You're seeing me, I can't see you. Would you guys like the chance to boop the snoot? You can boop the snoot. I'll do it for you, you ready? Boop. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.